John Bennett, in the first quarter of this year, how have European markets performed? Europe's been strong. Even to the sterling investor, uh, Europe's been strong. There's a bit of currency mirage goes on, and you do have to bear this in mind. Euro Europe in euros is very strong. It's, 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 it's up the thick end of 20% uh, in the first three or so months of 2015. To the sterling investor, it's about half that. In other words, the euro's been weak and sterling's been strong. But even, even to the sterling investor, you have made double-digit returns in Europe. I think the Morgan Stanley Europe XUK index is up about 10.5% uh, in sterling in Q1. Okay, how has Henderson European Focus Trust performed in that environment? We've managed to outperform that uh, a bit. I mean, I, I try not to look at, you know, really short periods like a quarter, but unfortunately we're measured uh, on those, which are actually meaningless time frames. But anyway, we're measured over that, uh, that kind of time frame. The, the trust NAV grew th about 13% in, in Q1 in sterling versus the market 105 So we're heroes for a quarter. Have there been any significant purchases or disposals in the portfolio? I think, I think the, the key activity is, I have actually made a, a small reduction in, in pharma, in, which is not me changing direction from the sector. I, I, I maintain this is a secular bull market in, in healthcare, but we have taken a bit of profit here and there in order to fund one or two small cap names that have come in. We've, uh, we have uh, drilled down further in the market cap, uh, rankings. We have found value at the smaller end, I mean not micro cap, but smaller end of, of, of the market um, and names that have been coming into the fund very recently would include something that's very rare for me actually, a shipping company in Belgium, Euronav. Very rare that I get involved in that. And um, a very small Finnish bank, about 750 million euros market cap, which we are buying currently and that is a business called Actia. And the thing I would say about that is when, when banks in Europe are scrambling to convince their investors that they've got a core tier one ratio of 10 or a core tier one ratio of 12, this one has near 20. And I think it's going to be a very high dividend pair. Okay, finally, John, what is your outlook and are you expecting volatility? Always expect volatility. I, I think volatility should pick up. It's been low for a long time, and I, I would expect volatility at some stage will pick up. I mean, it's, it's a, in a sense that's a mean reversion in itself. We need to see. I think we will see volatility uh, pick up. I'd be happier um, if markets were ten percent lower, you know, because then for every ten percent correction, there are stocks falling twenty, and then we can we can really find value again. Um, whether we get that correction or not, I don't know. John Bennett, thank you.